the Mauser K98 air gun. Let's check it out. The Mauser K98 air rifle. This is a really cool replica rifle of the original K98. Dana Air Guns and Mauser collaborated to produce this really cool air gun. Guys, having an air gun around the house is useful. I mean, there are so many times where, in fact, I use the air gun more for general purpose than any other firearm that I have. Whether it's dispatching pests around the house uh, or just getting out and plinking, uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot quieter than a standard firearm. I learned the fundamentals of shooting with an air rifle. Uh, the place that we lived years ago, I couldn't just go out and shoot like I do today. And so it was nice to be able to go out in the backyard, set up a target, get those fundamentals down. Uh, you know, the trigger control, watching through the scope, and it does have recoil, which makes it kind of nice because it does help you to learn those fundamentals. Uh, muscle memory, making sure that you really let off at the right time. And so for that reason alone, I think having an air rifle is an excellent idea. Pyramid Air got in touch with me and said, hey, we'd like for maybe you to do a review of an air gun. And one of the choices or suggestions they had was this rifle. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have got to have that. <laughs> I mean, a K98 Mauser that's an air gun is just really cool. And these things, the wood on this is just exceptional. Um, but it really has the look of the K98. Of course, it's missing the bolt, which really would have been cool if they could have incorporated that um, into this design, even if it was just a fake knob coming off. But still, even then, I mean, this rifle has really clean looks of the old Mauser rifle. So I've been pretty excited about this review, if you can't tell. It's just a, uh, a very well-made piece. This is made by Diana, but in conjunction with Mauser. In fact, uh, it came with a Mauser sticker and it's engraved on top of the rifle with the Mauser logo, which really adds to the more of the authenticity of this rifle. With the hooded front sight and with the barrel bands, the stock, and with the back part of the rifle with the plastic butt plate, but even with the sling slots here, the shape of the trigger guard, even that Mauser front sling mounting point really gives this rifle a great look. This is a fixed barrel air gun. Uh, it has a cocking lever underneath, so it's going to help with accuracy, keeping that barrel always aligned. This features the under barrel cocking lever. So you bring it down and cock it. Putting it against your thigh right here is a good way to get some leverage, uh, otherwise it's pretty tough. The pellet goes right here in the chamber of the barrel, just like so. Uh, then, before you cock it, you have to hit this little lever right here. This is a safety lever and you bring it up, making sure that it comes flush next to the barrel. Your safety will automatically engage. Just push it forward, you're ready to fire. You can bring it back. White is safe, red's fire. The rear sight is fully adjustable. It's one of the micrometer sights and you can adjust it for elevation or for windage, uh, but it still has that same look of the Mauser action. It does have an incorporated dovetail rail, this 11 millimeter. Uh, you can put your rimfire or uh, obviously your air gun rings on here and scope, which we've got one to put on here. But before I did, I wanted to show it as it comes in the box. Another major departure from the old K98 is that this trigger is fully adjustable. Uh, there are holes in the bottom here of the trigger guard and you can place a screwdriver in and there are three different adjustment points in here. Uh, so you can really tune this trigger to what you like. It's a two-stage trigger 
and uh, it's really sweet. Now I'm going to demonstrate the two-stage trigger. Uh, we are at the range, so I am going to be firing the rifle. So you have some take up, and it's really smooth. Once you hit the wall, it is a very quick shot. In fact, you've got to be careful. Uh, one of the things when I was shooting my targets, um, I'd bring it into the two-stage and inadvertently hit that. And that's one of the reasons why I had flyers typically on those first few shots, uh, because I wasn't quite ready until I got used to the trigger. But it is a super smooth and light, very nice trigger. Okay, we're getting a two-pound trigger, uh, and that is at the lowest setting. They go ahead and set it at the factory. You can up that, which I'm going to do. It's just a little bit too quick for me, but uh, if you really want to get good accuracy and bring it in, you know, you've got a lot of variation. It's 44 inches in overall length, and it's 9.5 pounds. So this thing is pretty much like the old <laughs> Mauser. Uh, the stock is hardwood, and I love how they've refinished it. Uh, it gives it that really cool look of the vintage rifle. Now there's a number of different loads that we're going to use and these are all obviously 22 caliber. It does come in uh, 177 caliber as well. It starts out at 14.66 grain, uh, 16 grain. This is 18.13 grain and then we have 18.52 grain. This is even a, an expandable hunting caliber and so it has the cuts in the top. And to show on the package it will mushroom out. This is definitely a squirrel killer. <laughs> The Mauser K98 was a lot of fun, uh, definitely a lot less recoil than your 8mm. <laughs> um, you know, the lever underneath uh, is 36 pounds, and they recommend putting it on the inside of your thigh as you're pulling this down. Kind of gives you some leverage. This would not be suitable for a child, <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, but it's not really that difficult once you get the hang of it. Uh, but sometimes when I was sitting at the bench, I had to really kind of pull down and uh, just a little bit difficult. Once you've pulled the lever down, you've got to disengage the safety right here. Uh, and once you push that in, it'll go forward. If you don't push it in, it locks it. So as you push it down, you just bring it up, and it's real easy to bring up. You have to make sure that you lock it in. It just kind of snaps into place. I did notice a couple of times that it kind of popped out. It's not very difficult to push that out. But most of the time it stayed in place. It didn't uh, affect the shooting at all, even when it came loose, just a touch. And before you can fire the rifle, you have to disengage the safety back here. So you have your hand, it's just very natural to push that forward. So there's a number of steps that you have to take before you fire this rifle. The Mattis 3x9, it's good scope. Uh, the crosshairs were clear, their hash marks all down, uh, windage and elevation. Of course, this scope is a pretty up close and personal uh, air rifle, so you're not really going to be shooting really great distances, maybe to about 50 yards. But it was very suitable for this rifle. Also, the UTG mount uh, as well. And I'll have the links down below for each of these items.
Now shooting the different type pellets, even though they were different grain weights, uh, didn't shift the point of impact. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much stayed on. The accuracy for both the 18 and the 16 grain bullets seemed to be pretty close. A few pros and cons of the rifle. Uh, it is a K98 Mauser, and that in itself is a huge pro. <laughs> I mean, the, it's just a great looking, very well made gun. And of course, Diana is known for its really excellent air rifles. Uh, and then with the Mauser licensing on here, it just really makes it just really cool. With that though, it mimics the weight of the K98, which is pretty heavy, just under 10 pounds. So very heavy, but yet balanced. And that's really what you're getting is a replica gun to enjoy. Uh, so the weight's really not that bad. The iron sights are good, uh, very fully adjustable, and so that makes it nice. Fitting the scope on here was no problem whatsoever, and the scope was really good, the little Mantis scope. Did very well. I was able to get really good solid groups. The gun's very accurate as well. Even with the different bullet weights, it still held really good accuracy. Uh, as far as cons go, uh, sometimes when you're loading into the chamber, it's kind of small and it's difficult to see unless you have it in the right position. And really, you've got to move it from up to down to do it. So that was a little bit of a trick. And one of the problems because of that was sometimes the pellets would fall and fall into the chamber area. Uh, and so a couple of times I had to kind of fish around because I didn't want to close the action with a pellet in the action. So uh, that to me is a little bit of a con, but it's just part of the way this gun is designed. When inserting the pellet, you place it right in this little area. And so you have to kind of get it into that compartment. If you have it face down, it's not a big deal, but if you don't, that could be a deal. I did, again, it fell through into the receiver area a couple of times, and that was definitely, I wanted to make sure that was not in there when I closed the action. Remembering to hit this little lever though to bring it up is, you know, just a little bit of a trick. And then once you get it up, then you've got to disengage the safety. They also have a limited lifetime warranty, which really gives you a lot of confidence. The price, $449.99, definitely something that you've got to really love the Mauser action. Or if you're really into pellet rifles, there's some very expensive rifles out there. Uh, but for me, this really makes it cool. I think the price is not too excessive considering that you're getting a Mauser replica. All in all, I really enjoyed shooting this rifle. It was a lot of fun to do. Of course, getting dressed up in the flectarn and running around, you know, <laughs> uh, that was just for your effect. It was fun, but buddy, it was hot. And I mean, it was super hot. And putting all that camo on, uh, man, it about passed out. Wow, this uniform's hot. This rifle's heavy. These tripods, plus the one you're looking through, the camera. <laughs> A lot of fun. And I want to thank Pyramid Air for sending the K98 Mauser uh, for this review. Uh, you can go to pyramidair.com to check out all the details. Uh, the retail price on this rifle is $449.99. While it's not a super cheap rifle, this definitely will be the favorite in your air gun collection. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. happens to be a lot of those occasions occasions even the back part of the rifle of course with the uh, I'll just tell you what guys I mean okay let's, let's don't get into that yet oh, shit. oh yeah